Hi friends, welcome back. Today, we're talking about Beans 101. I'm gonna show you how I soak and make uh, beans from scratch. So right here, I have some Peruvian beans that I have rinsed and put into a bowl and have covered it with around three and a half inches worth of uh, water. So the water is uh, reverse osmosis. You can use bottled water. Make sure you have good quality water because the beans will be soaking in all that stuff. Um, I'm going to be using apple cider vinegar with a mother. I'm gonna give it a good shake to make sure everything's integrated in that apple cider. And then I'm gonna add a splash of it onto my beans. What this is gonna help do is break down a lot of the complex sugars that are in beans, and it's just gonna help avoid any gas, any indigestion. I'm also gonna sprinkle in some sea salt and let them soak overnight. If you don't happen to have any apple cider vinegar with mother, you can also just do a squeeze of lemon juice. We just want some of that acidity. Do not worry, your beans are not gonna be sour um, at all. So right here, I have placed a dish rag over my bowl just to cover it for the night. I'm gonna let it sit for about 12 hours and then I'm gonna cook them. But for now, uh, while I sleep, I wanna make sure that no gnats or nothing crazy gets in there so they are protected from outside elements. And what's gonna happen is the acidity and the salt is gonna salt your beans. It's gonna make sure that the complex sugars get broken down. And yeah, you're gonna have some amazing beans in no time. Also, uh, you can use any type of beans. This preparation is good for black, for pinto, whatever bean you have on hand. Um, you can do this process as well. This is what the beans are looking like after the 12 to 13 hour mark. They look a lot plumper. They have absorbed a lot of that water. That's why I was kind of stressed on the good quality of water using because the beans are gonna soak it all up. Right now, what I'm doing is just getting rid of that water with apple cider vinegar and salt. Uh, the beans have been salted, so they have a lot of that uh, salt that I added on earlier. And now it's moving on to the cooking process. So once I have drained all that old apple cider vinegar water out of my beans, I'm going to be filling them up with some nice clean water and we're going to get cooking. Even with the soaking process, there is a lot of water that is used in order to successfully cook and boil your beans. So I added three to four times the amount of water the per bean ratio. And I added two garlic tooths and a quarter of an onion, set it on medium high temperature, and I let that boil. This is what it's looking like around the two hour mark. Just kind of checking in on it, giving it some love, stirring it, seeing how the beans are looking. And as you can see, they're still really nice and almost intact. They haven't really blown up. Um, they look really good. And one way to kind of test to see how they're cooking, if they need more time, if you need to lower the temperature or not, is to take them out and just kind of give them a little pinch. Um, just be careful because it's hot. As you can see right there, I'm kind of struggling. Um, but they are not breaking off easily when I smush them in between my fingers. Uh, so they're looking good, but they do need to be really soft to the touch. So I'm going to add them back in, uh, cover it up, and check back in 30 to 35 minutes. Since I lowered the temperature a bit after the first time I checked on them, it has been roughly around the three hour mark and my beans are ready. The broth is looking a little bit opaque. My onions are translucent and look how easy they break off. See, they smush really easy to the touch. I'm gonna turn off the heat. My beans are ready to serve. Here's another pro tip for you guys. There is no way that I'm spending three hours Every few days making beans, even every week or every two weeks, I make beans in a large batch, maybe once a month. And then I freeze the rest in these glass mason jars that I've already talked about in uh, previous videos. I absolutely love them. Glass is a great way to save your food without having any weird chemicals added onto there. And these reusable lids, um, the food doesn't touch it, so you can freeze them, you can put them in the fridge, and you don't have to consistently buy uh, mason jar lids. So. They're amazing. Um, there are endless amounts of possibilities that you can do with uh, an ingredient such as beans. They can be a side, they could be a star of the show, you can make them frijoladas, you can add, make, I don't know, bean soup, whatever it is you, you want. It's a huge staple in Mexican cuisine. So there you go, friends. I have just showed you how I prepare my beans and I hope you guys give this a go and it, you, that you find it useful and you use it and apply it in your daily life. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please rate and subscribe.